How it works is you stand on the month, and then your shadow will be pointing to what time it is. Time, a never ceasing process. It gives them a chance to learn Noman rumors and how the sun works and the way the earth moves. Incorporating the past to find a path to the future in creating a human sundial resulting in a world-class learning experience for the students at Summit View Elementary. We need a curriculum that was hands-on, that was intriguing, that would motivate students to go deeper with their learning. And that's how we came up with the sundial. My favorite part of the sun clock is how people can learn and that it'll stay here forever and like the old ways aren't lost. It was just a very interesting project to bring up the math and and to realize that people told time long before we had watches with batteries. It takes what they're learning on the inside of the building and brings it out to make connections. We take what was in the past to learn about present to move on to the future. And with having the sundial, that's a great example of it. This learning experience was not just an exercise in math and the trajectory of the sun. It was a true interdisciplinary lesson and a collaborative effort between the school, students, staff, and the driving force behind the project, the Girl Scouts from Troops 917 and 755. We started out with community projects around 2011. We planted some bulbs in front of the school, and the girls decided they wanted to do more. And in the meantime, the girls were saving money from selling cookies, and we wanted to show what girls can do with money and what they can accomplish with hard work. I'm very proud of us that we have made it this far. And by taking this lesson beyond the classroom and into the community, the students acquired a real-world learning experience. It takes more than an idea, and I think what we all learned is it takes a lot of hard work and teamwork to implement a project like this. And we're very happy about it, and we think it's a big success, and we hope that everyone can learn and use the clock for many years to come. And as time continues its endless journey, the world-class learning experience also continues at Summit View Elementary. Where are we going? 21st century? Here it is. It's all right here. It brings up students asking questions, not just teachers leading the um, classroom. Now my shadow is pointing at 8. This is a great way to look at the past, learn from it, and make predictions for where we're going in our future. They're now able to say, we set goals, and we know now how to reach goals. We lots of obstacles, but we knew how to overcome the obstacles, and you learn from that. And there's not enough books and textbooks in a classroom to learn about setting goals and how to reach them. And isn't that what building leaders and our future is all about?